Hey guys, welcome back to Outlast. I am Zach and I'm going it alone. Uh, whoop, was there a thingy in there? Nope, just a shiny patch on the floor. Okay. Very shiny patch on the floor. Oh, it's broken glass. Okay. Um, so, just got thrown out of there. Uh, apparently I'm a little pig. Oink, oink, I guess. Um, I'll be whatever you want me to be. As long as you don't throw me out of any more windows. What do we got? Uh, I? Yes. Uh, affidavit having been made before the board of directors by Markov Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. Because that's what you want to hear. We are satisfied with that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries from actions of for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. Well then, more beepy phone. Oh, that is blocked off quite thoroughly. Can I go in here? That dude's dead. Things. Need to look for batteries. Stopped by a trash can. I do think it's interesting that the battery level only goes down when the night vision is on, but the camera is still running. Logic. It's games. Who cares? Okay. Okay. Um... Barcode. Beak. Beak. Okay. Just not a single damn battery in this whole place. Well, fuck you too. Okay. Yep. It's over here. Is your CLW Walker. Uh, initial data patient consult. Therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress, progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed that light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints, restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous extent, his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tutara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be a retarding progression of ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security, security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So is that the dude who pitched me out the window? Because he didn't look like he had any, any, a lot of lips. Peek. Okay. That's that's a dude, chilling right there. Just uh, 
hanging out. Okay, well, I have no choice but to walk by this guy. I don't want to. Okay. Okay. He's gonna jump at me. See? No? Okay. Uh, hey, hey guys. How's it, how's it going? Uh. Broken men and dead television. A crowd of broken men watch a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Uh, oh. Well. Okay. Um. You got, uh. You got. Oh. You have no forehead. Skin. Okay. Just, uh. Oh. And, and there's you. There. Okay, you just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Don't mind me. Just uh, walking around. Gotta peek. Yes, yes, I can. Uh, I don't need to peek that way, but I need to peek. Okay. So. Oh, jeez. You are super dead. That makes my life way easier. Oh, that looks important. Final reload the fucking battery. Two batteries, a possible ten. So I need to go. Nope. Nope, I do not need to go that way. So I will not. Just gonna make my way downtown. Fucking fast. He's gonna grab me! Ah! Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Don't mind me. I'm okay. You're okay. We're all good. It's 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 fine, bro. It's it's fine, bro. Don't worry about it. Just uh, do some run around here. Okay. okay. Proclaim the gospel. Proclaim the gospel. Oh. Okay. Okay. You do you. Running, I can. Okay, I can look backward. Oh, hey. Close that. They lie. Okay, Is that a battery? That's a highlighter. There's got to be a battery in here somewhere. I mean. Okay, what's in here? What's, what's... What you got for me? Tippy-tap on nothing. So that is an abnormally small keyboard. It's not even a full keyboard. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, there's... Fuck. Nope, 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 nope. Nobody home. Big fucker stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex-military police 
several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Okay, you, uh... Nope. Nope. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Okay, yep. You, uh... You do you, big guy. I'm okay. It's okay. We're all good. Yep. Let me do another room. This way. So I'm gonna go to the basement. Because that's always a good idea. Right? Basement. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's... Hmm. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. Okay. That's hella locked. So we've got storage room, electric room, machine room. Okay. Where? Oh, there's a thingy. That didn't sound good. That did not sound good. Hypnotic experimentation and research. On Wednesday, 10 February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. A post-hypnotic of the night before, pointed finger, you will sleep, was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it, fire it at Miss Jackson. She then instructed, her, instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to waken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun pistol at gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. They audio record these things now. Or video record these things now. Or things like that now. Okay, so I need to go that way. It's this way. Thing. Okay. Okay. Who's, hmm? Who's there? Nobody. Whole lot of nobody. Who is... what's happening? Okay, 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 okay. Just gonna... It's like a button. Anybody, I'm gonna... Try and be kinda quiet here. Oh, yay. Two gas pumps and the main breaker to restart the generator. Okay, um, I'm gonna wait to do that till later. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Fuck. Um, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm doing it wrong. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Toodle doodle.